What's poppin'? It's your gummer right lane. You already know. You need to be tapped in to Violators Radio. Shout out to my bro, DJ Soup Up, DJ Rex. Oh boy. Tito. Tito. Yes, indeed. I'm down the road, boys. It's called Cloud Nine, man. Shout out to Tito Star. Shout out to Charles County, Southern Maryland. Uh, Cloud Nine right there, man. It's Violet Radio Uncut. DJ Super, DJ Reeds. We here. For two hours and two hours strong, we got you, ladies and gentlemen. What's popping? Rest, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling great. How about you? We had good weather today. Mm-hmm. It was shining bright. Mm-hmm. They came out with them things today, too. Ooh. It's something about, it's something about after the snowstorm, the first little slight hint of warm weather, they be bringing them things out. Yes, sir. In South Jersey. Oh man! Well, you know, I was crossed. I was crossed the bridge in Philly in the house. I didn't see no things. I no. didn't see nothing. I'm talking about open toes and everything. I'm like, y'all. Oh, they want to get wait. sick. They want to get wait. sick. Anyway, let them know where they can find you at on that social media. DJ R E D D Z the IG the Twitter DJ dot com. Get with me. What about you? You not selling that thing on? No, nah, man. On, Fam- on the family back, man. On back, on back page. Family oh, okay, man. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, you can follow uh, me at <laughs> DJ a, a, Super. <laughs> a Fortune 500 company just cut me a nice check. I ain't got to sell nothing right now. I'm cool. <laughs> you can follow me at DJ SUPA on Twitter and, of course, uh, on Instagram at Super the DJ. Uh, let them know who in the studio with us today, man. Oh, man. We got somebody famous in the studio, y'all. You know, we got we got a famous guest today. Y'all done seen her on TV. You, she she on your YouTube. She everywhere. She's everywhere. All you got to do is Google her. I promise you, her pretty face going to pop up and, and you're going to smile. The lovely Miss Mariah Lynn is here. Mariah. Yes. I couldn't wait to be announced. I was like ready to jump in so many times. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Okay, you can follow me at Mariah Lynn Boss. <laughs> tell them. Let them tell know. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> yes, make sure y'all go subscribe to the YouTube channel too. I got some new music out right now, which I know we're going to get into. Oh, yeah, we definitely Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Oh yeah, we 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 got you for a whole hour. Mm-hmm. Uh, I once counted thirty-seven B words coming out your mouth one episode of Love Hip Hop. It was amazing. Yeah, thirty-seven between one commercial break and the next. I said, "Yo, she don't play. She got a mouth." Was mm-hmm. it really? It, if you, you was you was going in, y'all. Uh, well, it, I mean, I I have tried to calm down a little bit, but you know, I I try to always just like stick to being mean growing up i'm an italian and puerto rican so growing up in that type of household is like every other word is like ask this that you I know believe so. it. i believe it <laughs> it's hereditary a lot, lot of passion <laughs> yeah a lot of passion that too mariah lynn is here <laughs> ladies and gentlemen and uh, of course like you already heard uh definitely uh is, is it safe to say uh a, 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 a love of hip-hop alumni, alumni? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, mm-hmm. we'll say that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell them again that she's here. Once again, put your social media out there real quick. You already know, at Mariah Lynn Boss on Instagram, Mariah Lynn Boss everywhere else, Mariah Lynn on Spotify, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, nice. all of that. You can find me everywhere. She's mm-hmm. here, y'all. <laughs> Holla at us, man. Hey, Reg, we about to take it down to the A. Shout out to Florida Boy. Okay. Generation yes. Now. Okay. Country. Atlantic. So that means we about to play some Seti Hendrix featuring A Boogie with the hoodie that 4-5 run the track. Uh, leave it where it's at, y'all. Mariah Lynn on the other side. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Fire. Yeah, Porter Rich. Shout out to Porter Rich. Camden, New Jersey. It's yeah, called Unzip. It's called Unzip featuring Mike Max. You like that, Mariah? Yeah, I like that. I, I like a little, you know, slow, sexy... You know, vibe that definitely gave me that. Just something you can ride to, right? Yeah, yeah. Just down the West Side Highway, windows down, some You know, the I ninety five. All my of case. that. I ninety five. East Coast, man. Come on now. Come on now. The West Side Highway is in New York, brother. What's all right, whatever. Well, we we on ninety five with it. <laughs> anyway, we here, y'all. It's follow the radio uncut. DJ Super DJ Reed, and of course. uh if you're just tuning in, Mariah Lynn is in here with us today. Welcome. Yes, I'm getting it popping. Welcome to downtown Philadelphia. I like your nails. Oh, thank you. Shout yeah. out to the story of a girl. She does my nails. She's really Plug good. It. Plug yeah, it. She's really good. How you like being uh, in Philly? I know you said this is one of your first interviews in a while because of COVID, yes. but how you like being in this city on the late, late night? 
Um, I think it's it's a little bit different, like when you go to like the famous cheesesteak spots and stuff like that, because you don't really see a lot of people like you normally would. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the cheesesteaks are still hitting. Mm-hmm. It was busting. So. so where'd you go? I don't want to really plug them because I don't hear too many good things about them. Oh, so you I gotta went there. Find, I gotta find a new cheesesteak spot. She went there. Yeah, but had yeah. I no prior, I would. Chevelle, how did you know. approve this, man? <laughs> he wasn't with her. Yeah, yeah nah. Okay. He wasn't with her. All right. Yeah. Motown Philly back again. Didn't they dance in front of that cheesesteak spot? <laughs> Oh, no. Nah. The cheese man. fries was trash. Straight basura. Oh, man. I love basura. Getting my Spanish lesson <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, man. I lost this my own. Uh-oh. Wow, Here you boy. go. Here yeah. you go. Oh, you Hola. Know, you know, I speak a little bit of Espanol. Let her know, yeah. super. <laughs> Tengo dos años en oh. la escuela. <laughs> Not dos años. <laughs> <laughs> Tengo dos años en la escuela. That sounds like no experience at all. <laughs> hmm Well, uh, E... Y tengo muchos amigos hablando mucho basura todos los días en la calle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, yeah, that was all right. That's, you said it pretty good, too, okay. you know. Thank you. Call his bluff. Keep Talk uh, to him. It was him a little random. <laughs> it, was, it was a little random, though. You know what he said? He said, no, you know, what did he, say? he said, I got some friends in the streets who just talk. Can I curse? No. Oh, caca. Oh. You know, that's how you learn. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I had mad Mexicano hermanos in La Cocina. All right. You know what I mean? The place I used to work see? at. See? See? <laughs> I like Mexicans. Yo, I, I learned from them. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you like about Mexicans? Why do you like... Because you said that with a they, smile on your face. They look good. They food good. They taste good. They smell oh, good. Oh, they everything. taste good. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on now. Snap. Yes, indeed. I love it. Yes. I love it. Mariah Lynn is here. Violator Radio Uncut. DJ Super DJ Fritz. You are, like you said off air, Puerto Rican and Italian. Yeah. Very two two very rich cultures. Excellent food on both ends. Which one do you like better? I'm not gonna lie. Like I love Italian food. Mm-hmm. I love Italian food, but it's Me more too. like it's it's not really like it's more of like the type of food, like you know, like the because I had stopped eating pork for like a long time. Good for you. Yeah, I did. Cleanse and chicken your soul. and stuff like that. But Chicken too? Yeah. Okay. Did but, you start um, eating it again? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, because you start losing weight and stuff. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm. I'm already like, I was like disappearing at one point. I was like, I got to stop. I had to eat. Mm-hmm. But um, <laughs> no, <laughs> it was really bad because um, as far as like. The whole pork thing, like I, I'm Italian, so we eat like sausage and mm. salami, pepperoni, Porchettas like get yeah, like all of that. We like meat, but mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Spanish food is also really good too. Like it's the flavor for me. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm a big Italian food fan. What's your it's favorite? Just, it's the carbs, though, man. They be yeah. killing us. Yeah, he do it's his keto carbs. thing. He the, doing... I'm off it. I'm going to get back on it, right? But the carbs, <laughs> the Italian dish is going to be carb-based. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and on the Mexican side, too, you know, bad rice and all that, too. Yeah. So it's mm-hmm. like, you got to figure it out. You just give, yeah. just give me that protein and give me them veggies. I'm a food person. I like it that. all. Yeah. I'm like the most skinniest big person you and me. I'm like always hungry. Like always. It's always the smallest <laughs> ones in the in the bunch that eat the most stuff. So yeah. let me let me ask you this. Uh, are you are you a chef? Do you cook? Yeah, I cook at home. I swear I'm a chef. I think I work for Food Network in my mind. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, when I start cooking and stuff, putting lobster, I start trying new stuff and new marinades I never had before. Oh, man. No, we <laughs> love a good marinade. We got to mask up and pay you a visit. <laughs> Right, yeah, no, when y'all come down to Jersey, I definitely got y'all with the treatment. Appreciate Chevelle, it. Chevelle, you know what y'all should do? Y'all should do a listening session with a brunch listening session with the DJs, and you cook. We would, would be, we, we would so would respect dope. that. We would so respect that. That would be dope. Oh, we would play your record forever. <laughs> the food, oh right? <laughs> oh, my. That's no, that, that's facts. I would definitely do that, though. I would definitely have like the philly djs because i gotta give it to a lot of the philly djs really support me so i really thank y'all so much out there like even from the club djs to the radio djs like thank you all so very much yes I ain't about nothing if y'all just tuning in mariah lynn is here um break down how did you first get into love and hip-hop i don't know that backstory like how did you get into love and hip-hop um it actually is a really funny story because um 
I always really felt like I, I don't know, like I was bigger than where I was in my life, mm -hmm. and I, and you know, I, I was meant to do things beyond what I was doing at that time. You know, right? I definitely ran the streets. You know, not early in my child, uh, like in my teenage years, but eventually, you know, you break loose and you just <laughs> and then you, you go wild for a yeah. little minute. But um, luckily for me, you know, I like I really got into some trouble, I, and I God bless me, I got out of it, and I looked at it as like a second chance, and I was like, damn, you know. What do I really love? And I love to write. That's mm -hmm. my main thing. Like, I know a lot of girls don't write, you know, to each his own. But I'm like a writer at heart, you know. So mm -hmm. I started just going to studio sessions, paying for my studio sessions by dancing. I worked at a gentleman's club. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I did that. And um, eventually, like, I started getting more attention than I thought I would. Like, for the music, I just, I was like, damn, I'm just happy to be in the booth. Right. Like, you know, but people actually gravitated towards what I was saying because it was just so frank. Like mm -hmm. they couldn't deny it. Look at Once Upon a Time. Mm -hmm. You know, like I feel like, you know, we've always had the little Kim, the queen and Remy. She's a queen. We like we got all these super dope, iconic female right. you know, representations in the industry for us to kind of go off of. But I have my own type of style. So when I did Once Upon a Time, I got introduced to DJ Self. He was shown the record, and from there, he was like, I got to play this. Mm -hmm. And we kept telling him, like, don't play it on the radio. Like, it's not ready to go out yet. He played that on the radio? He played it on the radio. You got to put him down with <laughs> Once Upon a Time. I don't think he knows about Once Upon a Time. I'm not hip. No? Mm -mm. Uh, once Upon a Time, oh, not well, long well, ago, was I was a, a hoe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but yeah, I, I admitted it, though. You feel <laughs> me? <laughs> so, like, nobody could really say nothing to me. Come on, like, super. I, I yeah. heard that, Joe. I heard that, Joe. Yeah, right. like, I, I'm, I feel like... You know, shout out to all the females doing their thing now. But I was kind of the first one to come out and say some shit like, well, if I want, I'm going to. Mm. If he ain't got a buck, I won't cuff him. Like, straight from the door. Like, you don't got money. You're not on my level. Get out of my face. You're not getting nothing from me. My mother is the one that put me <laughs> on to you. Are you serious? Wow. <laughs> Dude, I love Bless that, though. Soul. Yo, God Bless rest my mother's soul. soul. Uh -huh. She was like, this little, this little light skin with no hip. <laughs> she got that fire in the real <laughs> She talking yes, about mom. She and all Thank that. You. I love it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So rest in peace to Mama Riz, man. Yeah, rest in peace, definitely. Thank you for supporting me. Yeah, um, she put me D. Because sometimes, love and hip-hop, sometimes it could be a lot. I'll be like, why are they so mad at each other all the time? And then? <laughs> no, you know what it is? Like, honestly, it, which brings me back to the, the point, the more of the question. Um, you know, self-played it. We had to take it off radio because I interviewed for love and hip-hop. He was actually being interviewed. And gotcha. then. He introduced me to somebody um, in the club who was kind of like into me, but I wasn't really feeling them. And they were being interviewed, too. So I got brought up by like being a love interest. But it, it really just the truth shall always prevail. Like you, I'm the type of person I can't really lie to people. Like, right. So when they started asking me questions like, oh, y'all intimate. I'm like, what? No, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I'd like ruin the whole shit. Mm -hmm. But they ended up loving me so much. Like I literally walked in my third interview, which is with the network, like, you know, Mona, Steph, mm -hmm. all of them. And um, I just, I didn't know what to say. Like, a whole bunch of just, like, white people looking at me. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to these people. But once upon a time, not long ago, I was out. Yeah. <laughs> like, and they just, Yo. they was like, we love her. Like, mm -hmm. and ever since then, I just consistently, five years, I was on it. What made you say, I'm going to be this vulnerable, this real, and I'm going to spit this lyric? It was either all or nothing for me because I feel like in my life, like, everything that I've gone through in my life has always been either all or nothing for me. Like, either you're going to fight to the death right. or you're going to die Facts. or you're going to starve. And for me, it was like, I'm tired of starving. I'm hu I'm hungry. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I want this, you know. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just went for it. And, you know, I feel like the music has kind of always, like, really just made people relate to me, too. Like, once upon a time, you know. Right. Um, Never never Be, um, Money Gun, all these songs, like... Mm -hmm. I have people in, like we were saying earlier, in the Netherlands, um, Australia, like places I've never even seen. Mm -hmm. These people know who I am. And it just, it really just blows my mind. I feel super blessed. Would mm. you say that's your most notable song to date? or? Um, Yeah, I would say still. Because honestly, I feel like Once Upon a Time is like classic, iconic. Mm -hmm. It's like my lip gloss is popping. It will always dump in the club. Like <laughs> the girls are always going to turn up. Mm -hmm. So when they hear that song, you know, because 
Like I said, it's relatable. Like even the good girls who are going to church like sing that song because it's like, come on, like you know, you know, you know, <laughs> church, you know how yeah, they, <laughs> you, you know, know they they ready to let loose. Yeah, I mean, you could be a hoe. It's different type of you know thoughts. I feel like you could be a hoe with your husband of fifty years. Indeed, you know, or Indeed. you could be a hoe with well Tom well and put. Jerry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well put. It's a level yeah. of confidence. Facts. Yeah, indeed. So I got this record queued up, man. I'm, I'm, I stole my B. Yeah. AKA, just we just said it says dog. Yeah, I, but, I put but, it there because it was a little bold, you know, like I stole my B from my B. Please break this record down for everybody so we can get into this joint. All right, real quick before we get into this joint, I stole my B. I can't curse on here, y'all. Y'all know I got a dirty mouth, but um, <laughs> you know, I was in the blogs a few months ago. My ex allegedly said I allegedly stole his dog. But I swear to God, he said he was a gift. <laughs> wow. So so you stole him back? No. I mean, you know, the real truth behind it, which I have not spoke about this, you know, on air or anything. This is the first time I'm really vocally speaking on a platform about it. Nice. Um, My leg was fractured in three places. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I really went through something where a person I felt was the one person who would protect me against that type of stuff was the one who hurt me oh, with that no. type of stuff yeah so i mean before before that when i did take the dog it was really because his niece had called me saying he was neglecting the dog like the dog was being hit the dog was being neglected put in a cage almost its size like mm. and he did bring when my grandmother passed away he brought me the dog back from cali it was a celebrity breeder celebrity kennels i love you um you know, and the dog's a fifteen thousand dollar dog, so I get why he's mad. But it was a gift for me, right. and a you gift were is a gift. Yeah, you were neglecting the dog, and he made this whole story up how I like assaulted his mom's home attendant, like which his niece cleared up thankfully because you know the truth shall prevail. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, my dog is super fun and cool and protected now. She's one years old, so yo, then Gaga just. Get her dogs back. Five hundred thousand dollar reward. The I lady think. Got. I think I started like a trend or something. Like I hope I'm not hurting people because, you know, <laughs> people just stealing dogs now. I'm like, wait, what? Like dogs were uh, it's worth a lot time. of money though. Hard times there, COVID. Yeah. Cats trying to figure it out. Yo. Pandemic. Oh, you see me? I got Look, pandemic somebody, dreads. Somebody just came up half a million dollars richer for returning guy guys Ooh, dogs. Yeah, yo. but you think That's they actually crazy. paid? I think so. Mm. These people, especially the upper, super rich like that, they don't, yeah. they don't play about how, how, how much was the reward? 500000 I don't think they paid that much. For two dogs. You well, think they paid that much? I did. I did. Well, she has no kids, right? She's. I think. I believe. I don't, I, really don't, I don't believe she has children. And I feel like people like that who have pets, like they kind of look at their pets like their children, you Absolutely. know? So right, right. It's like if your, your son or your daughter was to go missing, you're... I'm. I want five. I'm, I'm gonna get five hundred thousand to find my kid too. You know? No, indeed, indeed. So I got the record queued up, man. Let's blast yes. off with this joint. Go ahead and blast off. With Let's this get it drippy. The only six X. You already know. Yeah, run the track, Hello. super. I hate you so much right now. You lying, cheating mother. I think I just killed my Kick boyfriend. Rocks. I'm reporting a homicide. That West Philly flavor right there. Sarita O. Money making chicks. Yeah, Sarita O. What what you think about that record? I think that record is a shake your booty, like good vibe. Out with the girls, getting ready to go to the club. Mm -hmm. On the way to the club. That's Mm -hmm. a real good friend to the show, Sarita O. Money making chicks. I I, I played it because I always thought you would be nice on the remix. Yeah. She make she making a lot of noise out in West Philly right now with Yizzo. Well, let's talk about it. Let's hey, get it. Hey, so follow the radio it. uncut. DJ I'm Super, with it. DJ Reed, and of course Mariah Lynn is here. Yes, yes indeed, our special guest. Let's talk about music, yo. Like, where does the musical journey for you begin? Um, well, I think it begun like with Once Upon a Time, and I'm like now really starting to take it really serious now because. You know, before I didn't really have a solid team behind me. And, you know, thanks to a lot of people, you know, Chevelle, Grammy Records, um, 
you know, just like a huge support system that I have, like DJ Self, you know, mm -hmm. all the DJs, but you know, Self has obviously helped me so much oh, no, with my yeah, career. You got, you got to show him love. Yeah. Definitely. So um, now for me is more of like kind of going back to the Once Upon a Time of Ryan, but just like new version, mm -hmm. you know, more just evolved and more consistent honestly because i feel like at one point it was like i would drop something and they would get excited and then it kind of would like die down and then you know i didn't really i wasn't really educated on like the marketing and like you know just the business side of it like mm -hmm. and i and i every interview i feel like i stress this so much to upcoming artists like read those contracts if you don't understand the contract bring it to a lawyer bring it to another lawyer bring it to your mother mm -hmm. bring it to your friend like Right. My father told me from day one that I signed, which I won't even mention their name, with an indie label when I was with Once Upon a Time. I've never seen a dollar from Once Upon a Time. Wow. Went gold independently. I've never seen a dollar. Whoa. And I'm still fighting like now. I was about to say, where the lawyers at? No, oh, yeah. So, then, you know, that's what I said, Chevelle. <laughs> um, I feel like uh, Bob Celestin, you know. A lot of people um, are on my team now. They're really on my side and they're so solid with me that I feel like you can't beat me now. Like, I, I feel like I want to go back and get what I'm owed, mm -hmm. but I'm so not focused on that because I know it's just going to come to me. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you know, the Cardi situation. I right. don't want to speak too much because it's not my situation, but I feel like I relate to that situation. Like, you know what? I'm going to just blow, blow, like really blow now. Mm -hmm. And then I'll see you on the flip side mm -hmm. where my lawyers are just going to chew you up and spit you out like you're nothing. Mm -hmm. Like mm. you did me, you know. And just keep pushing the hits out and get the residuals from yes. that hit. <laughs> but keep pushing the hits. Yeah, like my YouTube is now linked to my bank account. Hey, let's there you go. go. <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's okay? go. Like I'm, I'm looking, I'm logging in. Like I'm seeing what the revenue is now. I never knew these things before. I kind of was just like happy to be there. Mm -hmm. Nah, you can't be like that. Like you gotta, you got to stay tapped in and in tune with your business. Cause trust me when I say people that you think will ride to the end, like to the wheels fall off, they will steal from you. They will snake you. Like. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's happened to me. So a lot of really good artists, I feel like, you know, have that that feeling like me. Like in that moment, they're just happy to be there and they sign. And it's, you know, this is, yes, like, no, no. Right. You don't know what you just signed. Right. You you don't know what gross uh, income is. You don't know what 50% of net income is. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know those things. So let me ask you this. What point... Was it with you when you it just hit you like a ton of bricks, like, they getting over on me? Um, We was in the studio one day, and I had just thanked God for loving hip-hop and Mona Scott, honestly. Because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have proof of nothing. Going on to Love and Hip Hop, you have to get clearance for every record that you showcase on the show. Because, mm. so, you know, you get your royalties and stuff like that. Um, And I had split sheets signed, split sheets via email legal documentation considered mm. to be mm. um and i took that and i said in the studio one day and i saw how good once upon a time was doing and then never be was following up and i asked the the label owner who was the ceo of the label a rapper oh my the the, the co-producer oh like, my yeah he was he was more than dan dancing all in the videos <laughs> he, oh my god so bad like Ad living on all yeah. the tracks so the moment i realized was i asked him i said hey so how many records have we sold on itunes and he looked at me and said none of your business itunes is none of your business whoa yes whoa. <laughs> and i said the same thing y'all just said and i said wait 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 Hold on, what do you mean it's none of my business? This is my business. See, right. that's the type of stuff that gets you touched, y'all. Oh, man, that's why Cube walked up in the offices <laughs> with the baseball bat. I love it. Right. Well, see, if I could find him, that you know what I'm saying? I don't want to incriminate myself, but whatever. You know, if I could I ever find him, but um, no, we're talking he'll be about served that. with these papers. Papers? That's yeah. That's your business. Oh, he was eating. Yeah, yeah. no, he definitely, and, and you know what? I He's still eating because... Even though I'm taking the right steps to get to where I, I want him to be, like, he's just gone missing. Like, he's literally not paid taxes on, like, the independent label doesn't exist anymore because the bum, I can't curse, 
but the bum never paid taxes on and stuff like i've i've investigated this to the fullest like i'm not the only artist he did this so he did it to kazi you know yeah okay mm-hmm. uh dricky graham snap backs and tattoos yeah. like yeah Cotch. Cotch. all of that he <laughs> oh he was uh, a scam artist oh yeah no and he still is like i see him still trying to um you know sign young artists and his um partner as well tiffany price I you know i promise you we might involved. know this boy we're gonna talk off the air i promise you we might, might know this boy oh no i know you know him especially with them artists you just named i know they, you they, know they, him they worked them records on us and i remember dricky that was a uh e1 yeah. e i remember oh, dricky yeah. about to throw himself off a bridge because of how much money that they stole from him oh he's about <laughs> to do himself yeah like you know not to talk about nobody but i mean you can't beat me dricky i'm just saying the truth is it, this is what it is like this right. man really no it's not just about the no, livelihood no, no, he really like made people like really you know question themselves like at one point i felt like i, I could never put music out again you know because he even made me feel in ways like certain bridges that i had certain bonds that i had with people including self like oh you self will never play your record again oh yeah well ch- make sure you tap in to dj self because mariah lynn is always on the lineup mm-hmm. like and real recognize real and that's where i feel like god is good and he don't like ugly no facts and there you go. yeah so speak on your relationship with self how far back y'all go um since once upon a time nice. like since i i couldn't afford to i didn't even own a designer bag when i met self and self actually when i hit a million streams on once upon a time bought me my first bag like right. my first designer bag. What kind of bag was it? It was a nice one. I forget the name. It was like one of those big ones. I forget the name. How you remember the name of it? No, it was the blue one with the red. I'll never forget. He actually bought me this bag too, the Gucci bag. Oh, shout out yeah. to so self. Shout out to self. See you, self. Yeah. But I mean, every time I, you know, succeeded or I hit a major milestone in my career, it's not like you know he just yeah. buying me bags. <laughs> Were you hesitant to work with him after what had just happened prior to that? I think I was just more fearful, like, oh, my God, like, is he really not going to play my records? Like, you know, I thought we were cool. And, you know, maybe the industry is like this. And nah, he was like, yo, I rock with you. Like, I mm-hmm. rock with you, rock with you. Like, since I heard once upon a time, like, never try to touch me. I done slept in the same house with. So we go on winning vacations like this man is he's really solid. That's nice. why I love him so much. Shout out to DJ Self. Facts. Yeah, man. Shout out to all in. the DJs. Mariah Lynn is here. Who, who who was the young Mariah Lynn out here listening to? Because I know off the air, when you first got in here, you said you was blasting 90s all the way down the turnpike. Yeah. Who? I mean, not just 90s, but I'm I'm an old school head. Like, I listen to all of that. Like, I'm talking about from 50 Cent, like, to Jada Kiss, to mm. uh, Locks, Eminem. Like, I still, I'll still listen to Welcome to D Block. Like hey. you know, like okay. yeah, I got the gangster. Then then I could go into like the Deborah Cox and like you hey, know, I'm like okay. the, the oh, we Suaves. Can we can do a long, we, at least we know we can yeah. do a long road trip with her. Well, and, and, and the music is nice. Oh yeah, we playing Jay Z. We're playing all of that. Okay, can I can I partake in the essence on the ride? Because he don't yeah. let me when I when I ride <laughs> with him. He don't let me do that. <laughs> He don't let me do that when I ride with him. Well, I control. The, I literally control the music. Like Chevelle could tell you, like when we're on the road, I'm like, change this, <laughs> put this on, and it depends on my mood. If like if I'm a little intoxicated, we're listening to Little Kim. Okay, like, <laughs> I was about to ask you that. There what, you go. What, I was what, waiting to hear that. What female hip hop artists uh, inspired you back in the day or influenced a um, young Mariah Lynn? Definitely Little Kim. Remy for facts. I was on the chirp phone playing the ringtones hey, hey, walking through go. the streets. Next to so. I 1000 Plus. Yes. It was so annoying. No, it wasn't. We got a lot of money on them I 1000. Listen, you will waste your battery. To, I would waste my battery to listen to Remy's. I'm conceited. I, I got, got a, a reason. reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Yes, swearing I was everything. But um, a lot of females, I think, have definitely impacted me. Um, Queen Latifah, Lauren Hill, you know, Jersey, both of them, yeah, right there. Living in living in the projects, I feel like growing up, like you know, my mom on the weekends, windows is open, the bleachers on the floor, mm-hmm. the the big. I just remember my mom having these big, two huge speakers that would just like rock, and I would I would just literally just hear music like all week, freestyle music, all Very different nice. stuff. Yeah. Very nice. I got this drippy joint. 
set Drippy. up right now, man. Can you go ahead and blast off on this for everybody? Yes. Shout out to the Only Six X. This new record is out right now. The official video is out. Make sure y'all tap in. Drippy. Wow, 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 wow. What? Wow. Say if you give it to me, I give it to you. You know that I got you. This your song right here. You too. know, you know, this is my joint. This all fire though. Hey baby, you yeah, can give it I'm to bang me. With that joint, yeah. That Busta Rhymes, Trippy Red. Yeah, man. Shout out to the violator OG, Busta Rhymes. Uh-huh. Yes. We appreciate you, man. Just always putting on for the culture. And thank yes. you for that dope interview, Busta Rhymes. We appreciate you. Oh, yeah. That was a milestone right there. Okay. It was. It was Busta a... was on here again, Busta. <laughs> That's the violator OG. Yes, indeed. Violator Radio Uncut, DJ Super, DJ Breeds. And, of course, Mariah Lynn is here. Yes. Mm-hmm. Repping Jersey. Mm-hmm. Jersey City to be exact. Okay. And uh Free Albie. <laughs> Albie out is down? Yeah. Didn't know that. Free the bro though. For wow. real, for real. Didn't know that. Actually. I interviewed him in DC. Okay. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A while back. He was rolling around with Joe. Joe One Stop. Shout out to Joe One Stop. Okay. What's up, Joe? Mm-hmm. So we like to do something over here called Tour Guide. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh. So this will be <laughs> Tour Guide, the Jersey City edition. I'm in the back seat. <laughs> 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 and, and you are at the wheel. Mariah Lynn is wow. at the wheel. So when we touch down in Jersey City, mm-hmm. we, we going, we going, matter of fact, let's be petty. Mm-hmm. We're going to fly from Philly International to Newark. You're going to fly Just from because. Philly. I'm going to fly from Baltimore. Okay. And then we're going to go to Newark. Let's yes. Oh quick little flight, 20-minute jump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when we first land in the city, mm-hmm. we want to grab something to eat. Something good. Where are we going in Jersey City to get some good food? And and you can cook for us, too. That, that's a that's an option. It's, yeah, it's no, I'm going to definitely cook for y'all when y'all come. But if I had to recommend, like, a really good spot, honestly, um, I would say... Crusty Keys, because I really, really want to just keep promoting Black-owned businesses and Black owners because I feel like they don't really get the, you know, like the recognition that they they should get. But um, Crusty Keys, like, um, it's it's a whole bunch of them that like are so good. Um, if oh, you're like Hoboken, you could go to like La Casa, it's a Spanish restaurant. My boy owns it. Okay, so good. Like the Spanish food is so authentic. It's so good. Like I, I just love it. Uh, explain Krusty Keys. What, what they what they sell? Uh, there. Krusty Keys is actually like I said, a black owned business, and they serve seafood. Like mm-hmm. just, I actually got Chevelle some last time. It was so good. Like the salmon, the oh, they he do over crab there shaking legs. his head with his yeah. eyes closed. <laughs> Eggs and like corn with potatoes, but it's like they actually cook everything on the grill. So like oh. the salmon, when you like go, it has like that little. You know, like that uh, nice char to it. Cut the, yeah. <laughs> cut the beat off. Go ahead. Talk your talk. <laughs> yeah, right. You don't like seafood. You I can't eat salmon. seafood. I love though. salmon. What are you talking about? I don't eat the, the crab legs and all Hold that on, don't, don't do your hand like that. Don't do don't, your hand like that now. I don't indulge in none of that. Don't do your hand like that about no crab legs. I'm allergic. Come so on now. Yeah, you can put your hand down, though. It's not for me. I don't eat certain shellfish, too, but I really I love crab legs. Like Me, too. That's the way to my heart. Okay, the well, crusty mm-hmm. keys I'll stick to the it is. I'll give yes. you a salmon platter. There's actually a song by DJ J Hood, like we ordering crusty keys. Oh, it's nice. a it's a Jersey no. Club mix. Yeah, 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 yeah. J Hood, so, yeah. Yeah, so shout out to J Hood and Krusty Keys. Um that's why I be ordering <laughs> Krusty <hilarious>. Keys. <laughs> I heard that joint too. They deliver too, anywhere in Jersey. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So crusty keys. After mm-hmm. we eat, Rez, what we want to do after we eat? I want to get, I want to get my size tapered up in the back, a nice little shape up. Right, get the beard tight. The beard Where can we tight. go to get that? Would you know? Um, she gotta know. Look at her. I do. Um, up. there's this spot right there. I mean, I never got my hair cut there, but my brothers go there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's called Jersey Cuts or something like that. But it's on West Side Avenue. Is right there, literally by like I think by like Communipol or Duncan. If you're from Jersey City, you know where I'm talking about. Okay. But um, yeah, so you could go there. Okay. And then after that, we want to do a little shopping. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We want to get some fly. You, you got to take it to the suburbs then. Mm-hmm. Where we go? You got to go. You got to spend the bag. Yeah, you got to go to. You got to go to Route 17. GSP is like the best. Well, you know, one. I, don't, I like Rez. I got a budget. Okay, so you go to Jersey Gardens. <laughs> I'm, All right. I'm familiar that's, with Jersey Gardens. That's in Elizabeth, the uh-huh. outlet. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that, though. I go there, too. At all. <laughs> hey, at all. Well, Jersey Gardens, that's where we going? That's where okay. it's at. Okay, I'm with it. 
Yeah, why not? I might want to buy some Gucci. What's up? Oh, yeah, you're not <laughs> finding that unless you go. It's like with the, the sax off fifth they mm. got in there. Oh, no. Yeah, not sax on fifth, but sax All off right. fifth. All right. Well, Dickies it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True religion. Mm-hmm. We in there. <laughs> and, and, of course, last but not least, you know, we didn't we didn't did all that. We want to go out and have a good time. Where are we going to go out and have a good time? Um, In Jersey City, honestly, like, I, I, I would call self and be like, yo, self, where you at tonight? I mean, mm. it's pandemic, so everybody's doing, like, private location things. Mm-hmm. So I think it's more lit than it was before. <laughs> Right. But um, I would definitely like either call the girls, like my girls, or I would call stuff like we would go to New York. Okay. Because I feel like Jersey has a lot of like different restrictions than New York. Like they close earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the girls like if you go to the strip club, like they they can't take their tops off or their pants. You know, their bottoms Man, off. Let me yeah. tell you. Let me tell you something. I'm from Baltimore City, right? Uh huh. They get naked. Naked. <laughs> from. <laughs> From Baltimore City on down, they get naked. Oh my okay. God. I never knew nothing. Shout out ab- to y'all. I never knew nothing about this whole covering your body up in the strip clubs until I experienced up north. Yeah, Jersey. Mm. Wow. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, mm. that concludes this edition of Tour Guy with, well, with yeah. Mariah Lynn. Were you satisfied? Because uh, you're very, smiling. Very. Very. I'm, I'm gonna give me some salmon. I'm gonna give me a, get my beard lined up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know salmon. We're gonna see maybe half half a booty. There's something over there. We're going to go party with self. And yeah. We, okay, that too. I'm all with it. We can cross the bridge. He, I'm with it. Do he do a lot of strip clubs up in New York? Yeah. Or? No, okay. a lot. Yeah, he definitely, he do both a lot, honestly. But I feel like, for me, like, I like the strip clubs better because I could actually, like, get active. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when my song come on, I could throw money and mm-hmm. stuff. Like, in the regular club, I feel like nowadays, like, girls just want to look cool. Like, Nah, I want to chill. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to be turned up. Like, I'm that girl in the club with my friends. Like, I think you can bring your own hookah now, mm-hmm. or you can buy it when you leave. Like, because nice. they don't want to. Well, when oh no, actually, I'm lying. You buy it and you leave with it. They supply you a case and everything now. Got gotcha. you. But I feel I feel oh, like wow. that's kind of cool. Like, I can go in and purchase a fresh hookah instead of one that is probably like been washed out like half. Right, half done. Right, um, curse. Sorry, yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like every time I curse, I got like put a dollar in the jar. That's <laughs> um, all right. We'll we'll slur it out. That's <laughs> uh, all right. I, I think I can. <laughs> Give but a yeah, idiot? the hookah. I mean, I'm not really a hookah person. I swear, sometimes I get drunk and I think like I'm gonna smoke hookah. And like my pe- anybody who knows me, be like, she do not smoke hookah. Like, don't pass her the hookah when she's drunk, because I will wake up the next day and be like, who gave me hookah? Oh, yeah. I can't talk right. Like, oh, like you, you giving like everybody that. the business. <laughs> Why yeah, did like, y'all do this? <laughs> I'm, I got. I'm, I'm talking like Jada Kiss the next day. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> gotta drink some Shout water. Shout out to Jada, he cool. Shout out to Jada, <laughs> cool brother. Yeah. So, so we got this record queued up. Get along. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This, this is uh, some hot new ish. Yes. Go ahead and break down everybody who's on this record so we can play this joint. Um. Well, first off, I want to thank the producer who put this record together, Cameron. Um. I want to thank Wade Wade on the beat. Um. Shout out to Rini Rucci. She's on the record. <laughs> Rini She's, Rucci. Yeah. Shout out to Rini. I love her. Uh, I mm. do too. I, I'm sorry. Like, I'm like a fan. Like, I yeah. really like where she came from. Like, the little baby freestyle she did. That, mm-hmm. Like, I love it. Um, I put a lot of people onto her too. That I'll be like, uh, if I'm up, sis. Like, I'm like, girl, mm-hmm. I've been singing that for like, right. You like, you like, you like. Yeah. Um, Johnny Blaze um, and Salma Slims. Like, I just I feel like every one of us brought such a different element to this record. Like we shot the video um, mm-hmm. in all different places separately, nice. but it will be dropping March thirteenth. The song is available for pre sale right now, so make sure you go cop that so we could chart on the first day. And um, stay tuned for the video. It will be on my channel. Get along. Plug your social media one more time and your channel. Yes, at Mariah Lynn Boss. Uh, YouTube is Mariah Lynn. Twitter Mariah Lynn Boss. All of that. Like, I'm everywhere. And where you at, Reds? You already know. DJ R-E-D-D-Z. That's the IG and the Twitter. Like I said, this Fortune 500 company just cut me a nice check. So when uh, they run out, uh, I'm going to be back. My OnlyFans going to be back. <laughs> so I'm my, be not lit. the only. He said, that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> For real. The sunny side is coming On back. the sunny side. <laughs> Y'all can follow me on Twitter at DJ S-U-P-A and on Instagram at Super 
the DJ. This is brand new, man. Yes. Stab- make- blast off. Blast off. Make sure y'all follow them. I just want to say the vibe is right up here. Any artist, you definitely got to get yourself up here and talk about what you got going oh, on. But right you. now, thank what you so much. we got going on is this new record, Get Along. Yes, indeed. Run the track, Super. Wow, 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 yeah. I don't trust a soul till these bitches gone. Bottle war with 1942 is on. If I don't like this bitch, I tell her change the song. 